Good morning. This is Gina, Pumpkin Cup Handmade. Welcome to my channel. I hope everybody's having a great day. This is my latest journal. It is, um, the front piece here is from a tutorial from Ernie Mays. I will try and link that below if I find it again. Um, so it's a one signature, chunky, used scraps to make it to stashing type of thing. And let's go inside. We've got a label. Um, something I haven't done for quite a while. It's a, a Patricia Veramonte's book page pocket. And then we've got a journal card. Lovely lines on the back. And a tabbed index card that I've stamped. And I have like, uh, I think it's three of the <clears throat> of these images, they're from, a, they're scanned from a family's vacation photos in 1938, Norway. And so I've made a kind of a postcard looking thing on this one and put Boy Scout scrap of paper on the back. Paper tabs throughout. Some This is map page and a tuck spot with a couple of journal cards in there. Then on the other side, it's got a journal card and a tag. I found this um, stencil at a, a state sale or a yard sale, something like that. Anyway, so I've stenciled a little bit throughout. There's some pattern paper here, vintage typewriter paper, a tuck spot here with a fussy cut bird. As you can see that. And some vintage lined paper. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at all the color on that. Oh, I'm in love with that paper. There's a piece of that. This is from a tutorial for, or a craft with me from Rachel over at Roxy's Creation. So she's made a paper band to wrap around it. She used vintage uh, uh, letters scans of them. I had scans of <clears throat> stocks and bonds from 1917. So that's what I used. And then there's all that journaling space on the back. And it's full of zip. Cute as can be. And slides right back in there. I thought that was cute. Got a nice idea. Map page. Here's another of those 1938 images. I've added a label on this one and I've made a stamp, postage stamp. It is a floating pocket on this one. <coughs> Excuse me. And a couple of tags or journal cards. This one I've stenciled. I found this at that same sale and I thought that looked so cool. Nice big flower. Excuse me, oh my goodness. And then we have a pad of paper. A pocket with those gorgeous flowers. And you can still journal on all of that. Deep pocket, you can add lots more. So this is from a, a coupon organizer that I used to have use like 20 years ago. I don't know, it was a long time ago. And I've added the stencils there, and then I've just put lined paper on the back for journaling, but you can still kind of see through it. It doesn't matter though, you just write over it, right as rain. Um, <clears throat> and going with the blue that I'm doing on this page, I found some blue, a uh, scrap of digital that I found with blue hearts on it. And then I think this is our, um, oh, Mrs. Cogs, I think scrap of the brown paper and then some little more stenciled hearts there. Another tag. This is from Tracy Fox's new compendium kit. It's really nice. And then parchment paper on the back. A little more stenciling. It says blessings. Another notepad. Here's the third one. 
audience look like they're having a wonderful picnic. I made stamped and die cut some flowers, added a leaf stamp, a label. Again, it's a floating pocket. And then on the inside, we've got two journal cards. More map page. A little tuck spot here, some memories. Some more vintage snow paper. Listen to your heart, Sunam Girls, and a journal card. More of the map, map, um, pattern paper, and more stenciling. Tuck spot here, make kind of a specimen slide looking thing, botanical book page, a butterfly, and a label, and you can journal on the back journal card and a tag. Another page pocket. This one I've done a little stenciling on top and bottom and postcard behind. I found this vintage postcard. Look at that. Wouldn't that be awesome to go see the cherry blossoms in Washington? Oh, I think that would be so wonderful. Anyway, a tab at the top and then some stenciling on the back. I wonder if they'd let you send this through the mail with the tab on it. Huh. I wonder. A tag that comes with the compendium kit. I've done a little stamp on there and a muslin tab. A journal card. And then this tag. A little more stenciling down at the bottom here. And that is remember. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.